What's up everyone, it's Stacko Cakes. I'm back with another Pro Evolution Soccer 2019 video. This is my beginner tutorial for my club. Let's get right to it. It's gonna be kind of long, so I'm gonna try to go as quick as I can, but hopefully uh, this is something that those people coming from FIFA or people that are new to PES in general, uh, this is a good tutorial to let you st get started and uh, start playing and start doing really good this game. Let's get right to it. We got a bunch of different uh, menus at the at the top. First, we got the match menu. In the match menu, you can see that uh, we got a bunch of different matches to choose from. My club player match. Create a match room and play a non-ranked online match. So this is just a create a match room for online play. This versus calm. This is basically you get to play versus a computer. Um, it, right now, it says match level regular opponent weaker. If you keep on playing this versus calm versus calm over and over again and you keep winning the difficulty is going to get um harder and harder as it goes and uh i think it's basically i think it was anywhere from 15 to 20 games i believe for your level to go up kind of thing if you keep on beating a team over and over again it just uh it just goes to the next level so this is really good when you're starting out if you want to play uh some games just and your team is not very good. This gives you a chance to play the computer. It's really uh, low level, and uh, but like as it gets higher and higher difficulty, uh, if your team's not that good, I would I would not really suggest doing this because the games might get harder at some point. But just right from the start, this is a good thing to use to get some GP and to get used to your players in the game. The rank sim thing is really good. Oh, I got to back out. This is going to put me directly into a sim. But uh, this rank sim is basically a good way to make gp while while you're uh doing whatever you can watch the game you can go and do whatever while the game's going but um what i basically do for this is i'll show you my squad right here so what i basically do is i get a bunch of white ball players this is uh basically like when you start the game you start with a bunch of white ball players on your team so put them in your lineup each guy gets i believe 10 games on his contract so what you want to do is you just take a crappy team and you can go into that sim thing and you can just use that crappy team over and over again. I don't care about the, uh, as you can see, I don't care about how tired they are. I just put them out there. Uh, if you if you play the game and you lose, say your team sucks and you lose. Because like people put really good players on their sim teams. So you tend to lose a lot. But if people do that, um, you'll get about 700 GP if you lose. And if you win, you get about 2,000. And if you tie, I believe it's about 1,000. So that that's kind of, what you want to do for this, you want to put all your white players on here. And you want to put all your best players on the bench. Because if you put your best players on the bench, that gives you a higher uh, amount of coins you win from doing this. So here is... Because these, uh, if you put guys better guys on your bench, it affects your team strength. So if your team strength is higher, you get a certain amount. Like you get more GP when you win. So here's my team. It's a bunch of white ball players. If one of these players runs out of contracts, all I do is I go convert into an, e an X EXP trainer, experience trainer, or you can uh, just sell them. But if they're a white ball, they'll probably give you nothing. So like, see if I release them, I get zero GP. So you might as well put him as a trainer. So that's what I do. I just keep on running these guys. And then after this is done, what I go, if I need to get more players for my team, I just go into the scouts sign player and just uh after every match you get a uh, scout so i got a whole bunch of crappy ones right here all i can do is go like argentina league right here and you just spin it and you have a new guy that you can put into your team for 10 games for those sim games i know some people were, were saying for my last video that um you can also just play the computer instead of doing the sim stuff because you have a better chance of winning and better chance of getting coins I and mean, better chance of getting gp sorry but um i just say that the sim is a good thing to do because you can kind of like do it put it on in the background while you're doing other stuff so that's why i like doing it of course you're going to get less because yeah you are going to lose a bunch of sim games but in the long run i think it's better to get a whole bunch of gp for doing nothing as opposed to keeping on playing with a white ball team versus the CPU over and over again. So that's what I do. I put that that team into this sim match thing and get that done. 
Another thing, thing you can do is if you have some others to play with, you can do a My Club co-op. It is you and two others. And it is for an online co-op match. So there's like a casual way clan match where if you have particular players, like pe people that you know, you can add them to this and uh, you can play with two of your friends. Uh, that is the co-op mode that you see lots of people on uh, Twitch playing. Really is cool. It's like a three-on-three -three kind of thing. And uh, rank match, play a competitive one versus one match online. And this what's on thing, this is basically just the uh, new things for the week. There's an online portion of these matches and there's a offline. So the online, let's go check it out. When you first want to start, when you first want to start my club this year, you want to come straight to this first trial. It gives you 10,000 GP for each match four or five matches. You don't have to win any of them. You can lose all five matches and you'll still get 50,000 GP. But the thing for this is it doesn't tell you to go straight here. So that's why I'm telling you. Like I, I wish the instructions would say, go and do this. Because if you play a certain amount of games online before doing this first trial, I believe you are ineligible. So if you, what, what you want to do is you want to play the first games that you play online. Play it right here. Do this five times and get the 50,000 GP. Then I would recommend doing the step up trial. This is just one game against somebody online. If you win this game, you get a black ball level one player and uh, you just have to win one game. So if you keep on losing, 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 just keep on trying this. First time you win, you get that black ball level one, which is a great way to start off your team, a black ball player. And the one match challenge. Let's go check to see what this is. So the competition details, this is a one, win one match kind of thing and uh, tournament format, single match. Team strength level, no matching restrictions. So the reward you get from this is a special agent, uh, a silver plus. So it could be a silver, could be a gold, could be a black ball. Probably gonna be a silver and it's gonna be a level one. But you get a special uh, EXP trainer that's got a 1000 EXP bonus and a match GP bonus times uh, 1.2 that's the squad bonus sorry so like for the squad bonus you want to go down here to your squad bonus players and it's going to show you the players that you can use that are going to give you a squad bonus for this so i think if you go to uh, let's see if you go to squad management the players that you can use to get that bonus they will have a little trophy on the bottom see there's a trophy right here and there's a trophy in the bottom right corner trophy in the bottom right corner so you can go through your players you want to find the players with those trophies those are the guys you want to put into your lineup because those are the players that are giving you the bonus for this particular tournament so that's the online portion let's go check out the versus cpu portion here we go versus computer so there's three different types as well. There's an elite challenge. This gives you a silver plus level one. Let's go check it out. So is this just a, uh, see competition details. So you have to win four matches. The difficulty is two stars, so it's really easy to, to get done. But you gotta win four matches. So people are all saying that uh, for these like four match tournaments, the last game, the, the difficulty is always spiked. Sometimes it, feels really cheesy like you're meant to lose but um that is only a two-star difficulty though so that particular tournament the fourth game is probably gonna be still really easy but let's check, check to see what else we can do here for the versus computer this one gives you a gold or better player for getting this done and uh competition details see this is a three-star difficulty the other one was two win all four matches to get it done so you get a gold baller better here, so the chances are that uh, this is going to be a more difficult solo. And let's check to see what that last versus computer one was. This is just a silver plus. Competition details, two stars. This is another easy challenge cup that gives you a silver plus player. 
but it's at level one, unfortunately. These ones, that, when you play the computer, you're getting these. Uh, you could get a good player, but it's going to be at level one. So you're going to have to use your training to up its value, stuff like that. Next, we can go to the My Club Records. It's a good thing when you're when you start in the game to come in here every once in a while. You'll see that little red circle saying saying there's something new in here. That means that you've you've earned another one of these, but these are just some of the things you can do, like signing a player on a loan, hire a manager. Like, look at these. If you do this stuff, you get 50 buy club coins, which is really good considering that uh, players of the week that are coming out now, they are 100 buy club coins for one of those spins. And those are probably the best agents at this point because you can get some really good players in the... I think the uh, players of the week for this past week, the chance of getting a black ball was like 62% or 70%, something like that. So it was a really high chance of getting a black ball. I still got crap players out of it. You can check out my video and see the different things you can get from it. But um, that's definitely good to save up these My Club coins. They're really useful. They're kind of hard to get after the initial phase where you get all of these um, My Club records done. After that, you'll sometimes get... Um, my club coins for logging in sometimes but they are definitely harder to get so get them while you can and uh, here's the different things here's all the ones I've claimed so it definitely is easy to get these done so inbox when you're gonna go into the game for the first time this is where all of your pre-order stuff is gonna come and uh, here's where you're gonna find like the loan Coutinho and uh, you're gonna find the uh, like the David Beckham and stuff if you got the David Beckham edition. And uh, if you, if you if you get if you log in and you get some kind of reward for today, it's gonna usually show up in the inbox. It'll have the big red circle on the inbox showing you to go into there. And uh, also, if you win your auction house, if you're if you're bidding for somebody on the auction house and you you win that agent, when you get that agent, I believe it goes straight to the inbox after you win it. So check your inbox after you win the agent. Here's a My Club store. If you want to buy some uh, My Club coins, they they're basing a lot of the game right now on these My Club coin things. Uh, the player of the week agent I told you guys about with those really good players, you can get the black ball stuff for this week. It was just My Club coins only. You cannot you cannot uh, spin it with GP. So they're they're gearing this game more towards the people that want to spend money at this point. But uh, here are the those were the matches. Let's go check out the clubhouse. So squad management, here's where you put all your players in right here. You'll see team spirit. That is basically how familiar your team is. If you stick with the same team and keep on using it over and over again, your team spirit's going to go up. If you have a new player that is not familiar with your uh, team and stuff like that, then he's going to bring your team spirit down. So the higher the team spirit, the better. If you have a low team spirit, like 59 right here, You'll see that your players don't make the right runs that you want them to make. They might make really bad passes, stuff like that. So your team plays really, really bad until you get your team spirit higher, higher, and higher. Unfortunately, when we're doing these uh, sim matches like I'm doing right now, this is my sim team. Uh, th these guys change over every 10 games. I get new guys in here. So my team spirit's always going to be low for the sim matches. And uh, that's why I'm going to be losing most of them. But um, when, when you have your actual team... Let's go check my actual team. Actually, I'll go back here. I'll let you guys know about this. If you see the team menu at the bottom, it is the Y button on Xbox and it is the triangle on PlayStation 4. Hit that and you can go between your different squads right here. I got, uh, here's my two squads. Here's my squad one, which is my like main team. You'll see the team spirits 88. Because I've used these guys together a bit more than than usual so i got team spirit 88 right here and uh what else we can do here here's your manager at the top right corner you can click on them by going click on them with the uh square button or x and uh here's some familiarity boost so you can make it so that um players that are not familiar with him get an additional boost from this management skill boost that boosts the um the amount of players you can have on your team like the uh, cost of them you'll see in the bottom corner I've got my costs 299 out of 300 uh, if you keep on going in here and boosting the management skill bonus it's going to keep on making your total costs higher so like it's going to be like 299 out of 350 
and then 299 out of 400, right? So like as you keep on making it higher and higher, I believe it goes up either 10 or 20 per per uh, management skill bonus you use. I believe it is 10. And uh, when you start off the game, you get some of these management skill bonuses right off the bat. I think you can also get the management skill bonuses from spinning special agents. And I think that you can sometimes get it for login bonuses, like whenever they, ha they have particular login bonus rewards. So that's how you, got, you get these kind of items at the bottom here. There's no way to go to the store and buy them or anything like that. So you kind of have to either spin them or just get them by logging in. And uh, what else we got here? So here's a team. And as I said, higher team spirit, the better, of course. Team strength. When you build your team, you want to kind of like figure out what team strength you want to use. The better the players, the higher the team strength your, your team gets, obviously. And uh, when you're matchmaking, you can choose your matchmaking to play people that are similar uh, team strength to you, or you can have it open. So, you, so like, if I leave mine open, then it, I would say like my three-star team right here can play either a three-star team, a four-star team, a five-star team, a one-star team. It makes it open to playing anybody. But if I don't want to play the teams like the guys that put all the money into the game, have a, a full stacked out team right now, and our team strength level five, if I don't want to play those guys, I can just set in my matchmaking settings, I can just set it to uh, three. Three as the maximum team strength that I'm going to be playing, and I'm going to be playing people that have a similar team to me. So I think that's probably the best thing to do. The only crappy thing is, though, when matchmaking is hard to get, which it kind of is in this game, especially on Xbox One, if I was to change my criteria to only three star and under teams, I'm going to have a harder time getting a game. So that's kind of like the, the trade-off you have. Do you want to find an easy time to get a game and allow yourself to play five star opponents, uh, opponents as well? Or do you want to limit who you can play and it takes longer to get a game? Because right now when I'm, when I'm trying I'm trying to get a game, no matter what time I'm trying to get it done at, it usually takes me about at least five or 10 minutes just to get one game of online gameplay right now. So to make it so that I can only play three star and under, it would make it even more. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, let's check out here. Using cloud match mode, this is something you want to set. You want to set one of your teams. I just put my best one here. This this makes it so that uh, this is the team that's that other players are going to be using when they're doing like their like sim games and stuff like that. Uh, you're playing other people's teams when you do those games, and uh, so you guys might might play my stacko my stacko cakes team if you guys uh, are are playing those games. And uh, here's the team that I would use. I I can set the team I want as my cloud team. This is the team I want. So I put my main team as the cloud team, and then once in a while. You'll log in and you'll get like a thing showing how your cloud team did if they got some wins, got some losses against people. And you actually get some coins out of that. It's not that much, but it is all, all the coins you can get helps, right, at this point. So uh, let's see. Game plan. You can go in here, change up your game plan. You can change the attacking. Oh, here's the attacking instructions. You cannot change those. Defense. What you can change are the advanced instructions. So it's like a false winger. It gives you like a little description of each one. Defensive, this is if you know, if you want to say you want to protect a lead kind of thing, you go def defensive. Hug the sideline. This is if people were playing on the, uh, playing wide, you can make your team hug the sideline. Attacking fullbacks, if you want your fullbacks to join in the attack, stuff like that, you can put this on. Wing rotation, head to the sideline, giving him passing options. Tiki Taka, false nine. So these are the different kind of attacking instructions you can do. And as the game goes on, you can always change these attacking instructions. But I would kind of set your attacking instructions to the kind of tactic that you want to use. Find the kind of tactic that works for you. The one that I want to use is the uh, 4132, but unfortunately I don't have any money for, for a uh, coach right now. But I do want a 4132 and uh because I prefer two center forwards up front. So that's usually the best formation. The only reason I have this manager right now is because this is the one that we can pick from the very start. So uh defensive wing backs, wide midfielders or wingers who drop back to cover defensively. D 
deep defensive line, if people keep on bombing you, bombing you, trying to go uh, past your defenders with speed and stuff like that, you can uh, put the deep defensive line, put your put your defense back a bit. Swarm the box. When the opponent's in the area, your whole team goes inside the box. Counter target, you can put your guy up there so you can uh, lob the ball up to him. Gen Gen Press, this is what lots of people use when they're losing. And uh, it just makes your team uh, go a lot uh, a lot faster on defense. You're trying to get that ball back ASAP. It does use a lot of stamina. But uh, this is usually what people change to when they're losing in the final half of the game kind of thing. So, but you have to keep your eye on your player's stamina, though, because it makes your players really tired. And uh, let's see. So I think that is probably it for this menu right here. So my club members, that's just your player list. You can go back to the old looking player list by hitting in the right right uh, stick. So this goes back to the, this is what you could be used to from last year. This looks a lot, I, I prefer this one myself actually. And uh, just shows your players better this way. Let's see what else we can do here. Training. Here's your training. So what you basically do is you can train up your best players right here. Remember I put that guy as, as, in a, as a uh, trainer earlier. I, we can go add him now. I'm going to add my, uh, let's see. I don't have any position trainers. Okay, so they're, they're going to have special events or campaigns that are going to have position trainers. I believe position trainers are new from... I'm trying to remember if we had them. Here's skill trainer. That's from exclusive events as well. So those two are from exclusive events, but the EXP trainer to level up your players. This is uh, something. Let's go check to see. Do I have any goalkeepers here? You'll see that the if you if you have uh, players that were from similar positions, you're going to get more experience points. See that 192? That's how many experience points I'm going to get if I use him to power up my goalkeeper here. Uh, as you can see, if I put a left back to power him up, I'm only going to get like 96 out of it. So let's just put the goalkeeper in here. So there we go. It didn't raise him up, but it wasn't that wasn't that much of a boost. So I got a see, I, went, I got a my club record thing. I I got something for training a player. I got 50 my club coins for that. Good way to get some my club coins. Get those objectives done. Next, we got the uh, player agents. This is where you're going to find your special agents. This is where you're going to find your top agents, which are the same as last year. Same kind of thing. You'll notice that uh, all these spins are for three three players. It says at the top. Last year, we could do uh, 10,000 GP for one player. But now it's uh, you have to get uh, a spin for three players, and they, it's 25,000 GP. So we're actually saving 5,000 GP, if you think about it. But... Um, it makes it so that you have to save up. Like some people will just save up 10,000 GP last year and spin something. But this year, we're going to have to save up 25,000. I thought they, they were still going to have the option. I thought it said somewhere that they were going to have the option where we could still um, spin a single agent for 10,000. But uh, I don't see it anywhere. So I, I don't think they, they kept it in. But uh, for these agents, you can go inside the agent. It shows you like there's a 2.9% chance of a black ball, 13.5% of a gold, 83% of a silver. Plus, you can also look at the player list. All these players are in there. But of course, a black ball you're not going to get. Like 2% is not very good chances. If you want to get a black ball, I'm suggesting to do like the player of the week players or the um, special agents. The special agents still have a low black, black ball percent usually. So probably the best thing to do is those players of the week each week but there's also this collector's box all players in this box are available to sign this is kind of a weird thing i'm not really sure like you can reset the box if you don't like the players that are in it but uh see this box it's got 23 black balls 110 gold 311 silvers so as you can see these are the players you get in this thing and this is an agent that we can clear that's why people have this because uh, in the pre previous years, uh, we if there was an agent that didn't have that many players in it, like say there was only like 80 players in the agent or something like that, people would save up enough GP to just spin the whole agent. 
so that you get all of the players in the agent. So now they kind of made it so that you can't really do that because the agents are too big. But then they put in this box right here. So this box is kind of like 450 uh, players remaining here. You can see I've spun it uh, six times or whatever. So there's 444 players left. So I can just keep on if I if I like the players that were in the box and like we, we saw that that box had like Ronaldo and stuff. But if, if you refresh it and then the box shows it, it's got like Ronaldo, Messi, everybody that you want in it, then keep that box the way it is. And just uh, if you want to keep on getting enough GP to spin this 450 times, then uh, you can do that and you can get the good, good I can get all the players that are in this box. But it's going to take a long time to clear that. And, uh, but you know, like I was saying, you know, they've, they've made the game, they've geared it towards money though this year. So they want you to get the players of the week. As you can see, I believe the players of the week for this past week, uh, like the, there was like a Neymar 96. There was a, which, which was like a Ronaldo was a 94 in this game, right? So this player of the week was Neymar 96. I think Simeone was like 94. Zayic, I believe was 94. So you can get all these, these players that are high overall in the team of the week or the players of the week. So why would you keep on putting uh, your GP into these spins that have like a 2% chance of getting a black ball? They just want you to buy the players of the week every week, basically. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing actually, because it makes it so that uh, I get a better chance of getting better players. Because 2% black balls definitely, you can go a long time without getting one. So higher managers, these update, I believe, twice a day or something like that. Like every, or maybe it was like every eight hours or something. So just keep on checking back. But these do update. Let's see if it says on here. Uh, updates every eight hours. There you go. So sometimes I'll add special managers in there. You'll see some of these are locked. It's like the GP for Klopp right here is locked. But the My Club Coins is 600. I believe you have to play a certain, like in the other Pez's, you have to play like a certain number of games and then this this would unlock where you could buy it for, for GP. But they have these locked from the start of the game. But then after you play a whole, whole bunch of games, you'll eventually see that some of these start to unlock. Some of these start to unlock for GP. Then finally, there's a point where you get them all with GP. But it's going to be fairly expensive. I think it was like around 20,000 20, GP or something for these top managers in the previous years. Something like that. Something like that. Or you can use the My Club coins. They want you to just uh, put the money into the game to get the My Club coins. But uh, here are some of the managers, right? Right, you can go through here and check them out. Each one has their own instructions. Some better than others. I would kind of find the manager that suits the way you like to play. I like to play with two guys at the top, so I have to get a different manager myself. Loan contracts. You can just sign players here. I believe it is ten games. Uh, oh yeah, it says 10 games right there. Contract duration, 10 games. So you can get silver balls too if you want. They're, they're cheaper. Or you can get gold balls. They, they have uh, black balls in here usually as well. But I don't like getting loan players personally because I like to have... I don't like to uh, try somebody out and then why I want them on my team and I have to get rid of them, which sucks. Trading is something new that's been put into the game this year. Really cool thing. It is basically, I don't have any duplicates, so I can't do it. But what you basically have to do is, if you get three of one player, you can trade for another, like any any player from that color of ball that he is. So say for instance, what, what I saw from the first day, somebody got uh, three black ball, uh, who was it? Three black ball, nine goal lands, right? So he was able to trade, because it was a black ball, he could trade those three of the same player and he could pick any black ball player he wanted. So he was able to pick Ronaldo if he wanted, Neymar if he wanted. He ended up taking Ronaldo. So, uh, but like for, for, the, for this thing, if you have like three of a gold player, right? You could trade him in and then you could pick any gold player you want. You, 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 will, you will not get to trade three golds for a black or anything like that. It's just like three golds for any gold player you want. And any player you get from a trade is a level one when you get it. So if you traded those three black balls to get a Ronaldo, uh, it's a level one. So unfortunately though, it's not three black balls in general. 
it has to be three black balls of the same player, which makes it a bit harder. I think people just have to fluke out to get that. But I guess if you open up enough, you're going to keep on getting duplicates. And also you can go, uh, say maybe you have two black ball Alexi Sanchez play, uh, cards. What you can do is you can try to go through the contracts. I mean, to, to go through the auction house, try to get an agent to get Alexi Sanchez so you can get that third one. So then you can trade it in for a Ronaldo, which would be a cheaper way to get Ronaldo than to go directly in the auction house trying to get agents to get him done. So that's, that's a cool thing they added with the trade thing. And uh, I think that is it for all the new stuff. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, we went through the higher land, the trading. Yeah, so that, that is basically it for Pez 2019. If you guys have any comments or questions, put them in the comments down below. Hit the like button if you guys like this video. I appreciate every single like. Thank you very much. Hit the sub button if you guys want to know when my next video is coming. Hope you guys have a great day. See you guys.